my name is Leslie. I'm going to be your instructor for the next few weeks. Um, in this class, we're going to be painting, drawing, and collaging, and hopefully having a lot of fun. So, for this week's lesson, we are going to be painting. And we are not going to be painting with your normal paints. We are actually going to be painting with coffee. Okay, so, and if you don't have coffee at home, don't worry. You can use something like tea or juice or some type of liquid that has color in it. Um, so not only is coffee, painting with coffee, like this really cool technique I just learned about, um, it is a way to kind of look around your house and recycle and reuse what you already have. All right, so that kind of brings up the topic of art and sustainability. How can we take care of our earth when making art? Um, so instead of buying new materials and new products for every art project, it might be a good idea to um, recycle and reuse what you have at home. So that's why this week we are going to be painting with coffee. All right, so let's get this started. So for this assignment, you are going to need a cup of coffee or um, some type of beverage or liquid that has color in it, could be tea, could be juice, um, a paintbrush, and if you don't have one, maybe use a um, Q-tip or something to spread the liquid around. Um, I always like to have a pencil, um, spoon, paper. I also have a placemat and maybe a cup of water and some napkins um, just in case, okay? So um, if you have watercolor paper at home, that's great. I will just be using regular sketchbook paper. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Alright, so um, in this lesson you guys are going to be learning about two different activities and I will try my best to um, make it clear which steps go with which activity, um, but we will name them. So one activity is going to be called coffee critters and one is just going to be a still life painting um, with coffee. Okay, so this first bit I'm going to show you is for coffee critters. So I am intentionally not going to tell you guys um, all the steps right now, but we are going to paste them out because I don't want you to know what the end is going to look like, okay? So that's actually better if you don't know um, the end goal for this activity, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is just put, take our spoon and take our coffee and put random blobs of coffee onto our page, okay? Um, don't think about it. Again, you don't want to go in to this activity with any kind of preconceived ideas. Um, so just put random blobs on your page. Maybe you want some bigger, maybe you want some smaller. Um, and this is going to get a little bit messy, so make sure you do have a placemat or, or something like that um, protecting the table you're using. Okay, so... Um, I have all these blobs. I notice that they're not all forming together. I want individual blobs for this. So that's the only thing you really need to know for this part. Okay. So I'm going to make some blobs, spread them out. You can use a paintbrush, but if you do bigger drops with a spoon, um, it will dry a little bit darker, which I think is sometimes a little bit nice. Okay. So put this off to the side. Again, this is called coffee critters. Um, and that's all you need to do for right now, okay? So let that dry, put it off to the side. All right, so moving on, we are going to be now focusing on our still life painting, okay? So this is um, where we're actually going to be using more of a brush and actually painting. So what I want you guys to do is look around your house and find something that you want to paint. Um, for me, I am going to be painting this um, house plant. I really like painting house plants, um, and so that's what I decided to draw. So I have it in front of me. Um, if you don't know what you want to paint or you can't find something that's inspiring to you, you could maybe look up a picture of something that you want to paint. Maybe an animal, maybe a landscape, maybe a bunny, okay? Um, I don't know why I just said bunny, it just came to mind. So, um, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to lightly sketch what I'm going to be painting, okay? So you can barely kind of see, um, you actually might not even be able to see this from where you guys are, all right? But I'm just going to be sketching lightly the general shape of this, all right? 
it's actually very messy right now my sketching but that's okay because this is not the final product all right and we have another little flower I might simplify it okay and I might any place that looks a little bit too heavy with the pencil I might go in and erase all right but I have a light sketch down of what I want to be doing now I'm going to take my paintbrush and what you want to pay attention to is how much coffee you're using and how dark it's getting okay so it might be a good idea um, to actually take a scrap piece of paper and see how the paint I mean the coffee um, kind of lends itself okay so my coffee is looking a little bit light when I first put it down but you can see if you add you know more on top it gets a little bit darker all right um, so if you want a really light look maybe you add a little bit of water and it's barely there however I know that I'm gonna want some darker spots so one thing to think about is layering and that might happen when you put a layer down let it dry and then go on top of it again maybe you put a heavier blob down um, or also it might be a good idea to maybe on purpose brew a really strong cup of coffee okay so maybe ask your parents about that if they can make theirs extra strong that day so that you can paint with it all right so you know play around with it again I know it's looking a little bit light um, but you might just have to add to it and your paper might start to crinkle but that's totally fine I kind of like when it crinkles it kind of gives it some texture um, all right so I'm going to start going into this painting. I'm going to do the pot first. And I know I'm going to leave some of it light. I'm going to take that spoon out so it doesn't make that noise. Um, but I'm just going to kind of go into it. I know that one side looks a little bit darker, so I am going to put a little bit more on that side. Um, just to make it a little bit darker. All right. The other thing that you do need for this um, lesson that I didn't point out in the beginning is a pen or maybe a thin marker of some sort. Okay, so that is one other thing that we're going to need after because we're going to be drawing on top of our paintings. Okay, so if it gets a little bit messy like this, don't worry about it. I know that it's all kind of looking like one big blob right now, but that's when the pen is going to come in later. All right. Um, I'm going to go into the leaves. Sometimes it's nice to leave a little bit of maybe white space in your paintings. Um, again, I'm going to do some heavier blobs because I want some of this to come out a little bit darker. Okay. going in with the stem there's kind of like a little blob of like I don't even know what it is but um, I'm gonna come in right here add another little petal so as you see right now it's kind of looking a little bit like blobby and it's not like super impressive right now okay but what's going to make this look better than it does right now is maybe letting it dry for a minute and then going back in with more layers okay so even right here it's starting to dry and we can kind of see that that place had a little more coffee in it um, I'm gonna go ahead around the edge of this and do another layer okay I want that stem to be dark, so I'm going to add more. And again, it's okay if it's not perfect. It's just a starting point. Okay, so let's leave that there for now. Um, one thing you might not see until the next time we talk about this project is that I will be adding more layers once this dries, okay? So let it dry completely, go back in with more layers. 
So far, we've gotten our first layers of coffee down for um, our coffee critters assignment and our regular still life painting assignment. Okay, so um, just a heads up, the blobs of coffee you put down for um, your coffee critters assignment, the, those are going to take a few hours to dry. Okay, so you might want to break up this um, activity in several sessions. Um, meanwhile, the regular still life painting, that is going to dry quicker because you're spreading it out with a brush and it's thinner, okay? So um, for the next few steps of our um, assignment, you need to make sure that your coffee is completely dry on your page because we are going to be using a pen to um, to kind of outline some things, all right? So um, make sure your papers are dry and you have a pen or pencil on hand, all right? And let's jump back to the coffee still life painting of the flower. All right, so here we have our still life painting. Um, of a potted plant and you can see I put um, two layers of coffee down um, because one would just seems like not enough for me um, and so it's interesting how it kind of pools in these little um, you know blobs or puddles and uh, it's, it really gives an interesting kind of look to it okay so you're gonna get that when you add multiple layers all right, so we know that this is a potted plant of some sort. However, it is still kind of looking a little bit blobby and um, you know, it's not exactly clear. So I'm gonna take a Sharpie, um, a thin Sharpie. You can use a pen, you can use a thin marker, um, whatever you have. And I'm just gonna go and start outlining it, okay? So um, outlining is just going to make it a little bit clearer what you're looking at and it doesn't have to be perfect I like to kind of go in like this sketchy kind of um, style so it's not perfect however your style is your style and you can pick however you want to outline it all right sharpie's running a little low in ink um all right so my sharpie decided to die on me a little bit so I had to get a new marker um, but what I'm doing, again, going in loosely, but again, if your style is more exact, you can obviously do a more exact line. Um, and I'm just kind of reiterating all those shapes I made before, okay? And this is when it's going to start to kind of take shape as a flower um, or whatever you're drawing, all right? And I might add in those little details. I know... Um, my flower kind of had these uh, little things in the middle. And one thing I like to do is kind of shade um, with the outlining. So maybe, you know, making this side of the pot a little bit darker because I know it is a little bit darker. Okay. Um, you obviously don't have to. Outlining is perfectly fine and perfectly normal. I might add little details like trying to get some of the like dirt in the pot because I think that's important. Um, and I couldn't really get that with the coffee. Okay. And you can pretty much go into this as much as you want. Um, there is no right or wrong answer. But again, I'm just outlining. This is kind of like that little leaf we talked about. Um, and hopefully that will kind of start to define it more. Um, I will show you some examples of um, other ones I did. Um, there's another potted plant. Again, I did a lot more shading and um, with that, but you, again, you can just outline um, this. You might have seen that on the website. Um, also great, and then this is a landscape that I did, okay? So, all you have to really do is lay out the coffee in the general shape of your object and then just kind of start outlining and it will take place, all right? And if you want some areas to stick out, maybe you do some thicker lines there, okay? Maybe I want this to stick out. Maybe you go grab an, a thicker marker. All right, this marker actually has a thin side and a thick side. Um, 
Okay. All right, and that is looking pretty close to being done. All right, so um, that is all for the still life. Um, again, you don't have to do something around your house if you don't want to. Um, getting a picture of something or looking outside is totally valid as well. I would just make sure you have something that you can actually look at while drawing so you know what to draw. All right, that is it, and let's jump to coffee critters. All right, so we're jumping back to the coffee critters um, assignment, and as you can see, all my blobs have pretty much dried, except for maybe right here and here, so I might skip those for now. Um, what you are going to be doing with these blobs, um, you're going to be making characters out of them, okay? So that's why I didn't want to tell you guys um, at the very beginning, um, because I didn't want you to make any, try to make any characters beforehand. I want you to look at these blobs and use your imagination and think about, okay, what does that look like or how could I make a character out of it? Okay, so this is really um, an imagination exercise. So I'm going to start, hmm, where am I going to start? I might start over here. And this kind of looks like a head might be here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little eyeball. Um, and I'm going to add little, little feet to this guy. And I don't know, maybe I should add like a little nose right here. Maybe he's smiling. I have no idea. Maybe, I feel like he needs an ear. That doesn't look like an ear. Maybe he's a dinosaur with many of those things. Okay, so I'm just going in here. I'm honestly making it up as I go. Um, and maybe we'll do one bit. Um, and I'm just being creative. Again, this is something that does not have a right or wrong answer. Like, this is kind of like, um, I don't know, silly, but I, I love it. I love making these little things. Okay, so maybe I'll go down here. Ooh, I'm actually going to do this one. This one's going to have little feet. We're going to put a nose right here, an eye right there. A smile um, and we're gonna put wings on this guy okay so it's kind of like a deformed butterfly maybe it has polka dots um, these do not need to um, be any animals you know in real life they're all kind of like made up um, that kind of looks like a dinosaur to me um, this, and they don't even have to have faces. Like you could like seriously just make like little bugs. With like these little weird feet. Kind of look like some type of cell. Okay, maybe it has antennas. Um, but be creative with it. You know, do whatever you want. Um, I have some other examples because I've done this activity before. Um, here we have, I kind of went a little more detailed with this one, but I made this kind of like weird um, face, but slash butterfly fairy lady. Um, this is just a regular face. I saw that that blob kind of looks like hair blowing in the wind, but in a bun. Um, here we have um, some more examples. Again, like this, nothing crazy, just weird characters, okay? Maybe put them in a shirt. Um, this one kind of looks like, um, I don't know, a duck or chicken or whatever those are. Rooster, I can't think of it. Um, but just have fun with it and, and, you know, make your own story. I think this one also kind of looks... Like... We should add a beak on here, okay? Um, that's still a little wet, so I'm not gonna put the eyeball in, all right? But make these weird creatures, have fun with it, um, and add as many or as little details as you want. Some of them are gonna be simple, some of them might be a little more complex, all right? 
Um, but yeah, have fun with it, and I hope you guys have an awesome time with this activity. All right, you guys, that is all for today. Um, I am so happy I got to teach you guys how to paint with coffee. Not only is it a super cool technique, but you get to reuse and recycle things you have at home. Um, so I wish you guys luck painting, um, have fun with it, and I will see you next week for a new lesson. Bye, you guys.